This problem has three parts, A, B, and C. In part A, we use mesh currents and KVL to analyze a circuit and put together three equations with three unknowns. In part B, we use Kramer's rule with three equations to solve for three unknowns. That's coming up right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark. There are no lectures here, I just solve problems. Homework problems that help you understand how to do them. Electrical engineering, lecture service. Part 2 is to work out these areas. Determine I1, I2, and I3. All right, for this one, we need to establish, of course, um, the last time we looked at this, we had these three uh, equations. We had this one right here. We had this one here and this one here. And what we're going to use is we're going to use Kramer's method. To, um, to solve these problems. Okay, so we get, um, we, basically we need to make determinants, get determinants for all three of these, and the primary determinant, the, the base, basic line, we're going to say delta is equal to um, these three equations, or these three parts right here. So we have the three equations, and the, the uh, very, or the um, constant of these equations are 40 minus 15 and minus 20. Uh, minus 15, 25, and minus 10. And then the last one is 1, minus 1, and 2. And we're going to call the, the other part D is just the, uh, the results of 0, 120, and 0. This is going to make things a little bit easier because we've got zeros in here that work really nicely. Now, um, so what we're going to look for is uh, these formulas, A, I, 1, plus B, I, 2, plus C, I, 3, equals to D. Uh, and we've already established what A, B, and C are. In this uh, formula, of course, you know, here are A, B, and C. And we'll write them out here. So A is basically equal to this little vector here, uh, 40 minus 15 and 1. B is equal to minus 15, 25, and minus 1. And then C is equal to minus 20, minus 10, and 2. Uh, and of course, D is up here. So um, there are a couple of ways to do this. Normally, if once you get to this part, you, you plug this into a calculator, and you, you put these in here, and you can automatically find out what your I1, I2, and I3 are. Which is what we're solving for. We don't know what I1, I2, and I3. But here is how to calculate I1. Let's put that up where you can see it. I1 is equal to the determinant of D, B, C divided by the determinant of A, B, C. All right, so the determinant of A, B, C we've already determined to be um, delta is equal to the determinant of this is the determinant of this right here. This is equal to the determinant of okay, so delta is equal to the determinant of this uh, right here, which we'll work out here in a second. Um, first, we're going to do it, work it out the hard way, and then we're going to work it out the, um, the easy way. It's basically delta is the determinant 
of A, B, C. Now, so that means that I2, and remember what we're doing is replacing, you know, whenever you would determine the, the, the numerator, this is the denominator, I2 is equal to the determinant of A, and this time we want to find out I2, which is going to be this one right here. That replace the output there, which is D, and then C divided by delta. And of course, I3 is very similar, the determinant of A, B, D, it's a D. Scrappy looking business, divided by delta. Okay, so delta is our, uh, our denominator in all three of these equations. Um, delta is equal to that. So, let's figure out what delta is. Delta is the determinant of ABC, which is equal to the determinant of this guy, 40 minus 15 minus 20 minus 15 25 and minus 10 and then 1 minus 1 and 2. Alright. And the way we get that is this delta is equal to the first one. So what we're going to do is in the first group we're going to take 40 times the determinant of this. Now you can you can uh, work out the determinant from any row or any column, but this time we're going to choose this column. We're going to choose this column or this row to, to make our determinant. So it's going to be 40 times this one right here that one, 40 times that one, and then 15 by these two, and then 20 by these. Alright. So it's going to be plus minus plus. So the first one will be the first one will be forty by twenty five minus ten minus one and two, and then minus it's going to be a negative fifteen by the next group, which is going to be minus 15, minus 10, it's with minus 15, 1, and 2. And then plus, in this case a negative 20, times the determinant is going to be minus 15, 25, 1, and minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to clear these off here so we don't use this with uh, <clears throat> these are arrays so let's not confuse them with what they really are here and that we're about to all right so delta now is equal to 40 times uh, let's use 25 times 2 minus negative 10 times negative 1. And I'm going to say double negative that 15 plus 15 times minus 15 times 2 minus negative 10 times 1. Minus 20, because we have a negative 20 over there, times minus 15 times minus 1 minus 
25 times 1. All right. And this comes out to basically, we're going to have, is equal to 40 times 50 minus 10 plus 15 times minus, still using brackets, 30 plus 10 minus 20 times 15 minus 25. And that comes out to 40 times 40, we can get rid of the brackets now, plus 15 times minus 20, minus 20 times minus 10. Let's scroll up just a bit. Um, and that is equal to 1,600 minus 300 plus 200. And that comes out to delta is equal to 1,500. <coughs> okay. Now, the, um, you can do the same thing on the other ones. And what I'll probably do very quickly now is I'll do the determinant of the first one for this one. This is going to be the determinant of D, B, C, which gives us the numerator. And you notice I'm putting these over here, overhead. That means these are vectors. And this one, which is equal to determinant of 0, 120, and 0. Here's our D. Minus 15, 25, and minus 1. And then minus 20, minus 10, and 2. So to calculate this, again, this one comes out very easily, is equal to uh, 0 times, well, it doesn't really matter, 25 minus 10 uh, minus 1 and 2, because that's just going to be equal to 0, minus 120. Then it's going to be these right here. So that's going to be by minus 15 minus 20, minus 1, and 2, and then uh, plus 0, again, minus 15, minus 20, 25, and minus 10. And this one's going to be really easy to, to solve because it's going to come out to is equal to uh, minus 120, by um, minus 15 times 2 minus negative 20 times negative 1. And this comes out to, of course, let's do this, is equal to minus 120 times minus 30 minus 20 which is just um, 120 times 50. We just made all of the, uh, the uh, negatives disappear, which is equal to a determinant of D, B, C equals to 6,000. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> What that says is that we can determine I1 is right away is equal to 6,000 divided by, no, what was our, what was our delta? Divided by delta is equal to 6,000 divided by, let's go back up and look what we got for our delta. Our delta was 1,500. So that comes out to 6,000 divided by 1,500. And that uh, means that I1 is equal to 4 amps. Okay, so that's all that. Let's look at um, some of the computer simulations that we did uh, in order to verify this. So here are some of the MathCAD simulations. Now, what, what we have here 
is um, this is our deltas. We could just did a simple MathCAD simulation. You can do this in your calculator if you have a good engineering calculator as well. And of course, we get the 1500 number. Here are the A, B, and C, um, which are actually the numerators is M1, M2, and M3, just to get some value. Here's the determinant of M1 is 6,000. We just calculated that. Uh, determinant of 2 is 12,000. Determinant of 3 is 3,000. And then we divide by the determinants of the delta, and we get I1 equals 4, I2 equals 8, and I3 equals 2. Those are the solutions to our three equations. Now, um, from here, that pretty much settles this part. This is part one, or part two. So this ends part two. Part three will be the last part in which we do some simulations on this to verify what our numbers look like. So, thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.